You know, there aren't a lot of uh, black members in Montana's predominantly white community, but there is one major Missoula figure who is speaking out, making his feelings known about what needs to happen to make true change. Like the rest of America, Travis DeCure has watched as the nation has protested and cried out over the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police officers. You know, it's hard to explain because I've been seeing it my entire life. And, and I think that's the perspective that a lot of people just don't understand. DeCure paved the way as the first African-American man or woman to be hired in a head coaching position at either Montana or Montana State when he arrived in 2014. Of late, DeCure has been vocal on Twitter about what is happening in America, knowing full well that he works in a mostly white state. And DeCure holds a leadership position in the state rarely held by minorities. He said the biggest factor is educating and teaching kids viewpoints outside of their comfort zones. When you talk about a community that, like the one I work in and live in, you, you look at Missoula, Bozeman, Great Falls, Billing as the metropolitan cities, Helena of Montana, and you really look at the numbers, it's very easy for a student to grow up, get through high school, and not sit in the classroom with a black student. And so there's a perspective that they'll never get. There are those who don't want to listen or acknowledge change, but there are others who do and just need guidance around what to do to enforce positive change because they don't grow up around minorities like those in metropolitan areas. So they miss those viewpoints. But avoiding ugly conversations, as some do, only adds to the problem. And so we need enough people to admit what the why is, what the issue is, what the problem is, to continue to move forward. We need to make sure that more people understand why. DeCure said Missoula itself has come a long way since the 90s when he was a student athlete to now, saying the community opens its arms to minority athletes. A lot of Grizz athletes come from urban areas and experience culture shocks in Montana, but he sees Montana as home and welcoming to him and his family. Speaking on issues outside of sports, DeCure knows backlash is unavoidable, but he says that backlash halts change and growth and forces those with good ideas to remain silent. Educating people is the long-term goal, but voting is a short-term solution, and DeCure says fixing the issues needs to be the focal point. Until we start dealing with the issues more than dealing with the responses, we'll start having some change, some growth, and we will become a, a country that might actually be great. Right now, it doesn't feel that way because we're fighting each other. In Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports. DeCure says education, and like we're seeing here today, speaking out can make a difference, but he says the real effect, way to affect change right now is for people to vote. He says that's something you can do right now to make true change happen.